Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, that you turn your notifications on and that you thumbs up this video, thumbs up this video. So let's get started. So judging by the title of this video, you already know what it's about. And I'm going to share with you five things that you need to consider before you say I do, before you get married. Now, I've been married for 33 years now, 33, I think this year will be 34 years. And obviously I've gone through the whole, uh, you know, the whole marriage gamut of different things, um, different experiences, different challenges, different successes, the whole gamut. And first and foremost, I want to say that when you say those marriage vows, um, each of those vows, every part of those marital vows will be tested. Each part of those vows will be tested. And the first thing, the first thing out of the five that I want to share with you is that have you read the marriage vows? Have you read them? Uh, get a copy of it off of the internet actually sit down and read them for better for worse in sickness and in health for richer for poorer sit down those of you that desire marriage sit down get a copy of the vows and read them because every vow that you utter every part of that vow will be tested and it will become part of your life and you have to be able to work through it okay so that's the first thing the second thing is that i really want you to consider because of the times that we're living in and you know obviously people get divorced they enter new relationships the second thing that you really need to consider is that does the partner does the person that you're looking to as a potential marriage uh, partner, as a potential spouse, do they have children from other relationships? Because if they do, you have to take into consideration uh, ex-in-laws, uh, you have to take into to consideration the grandparents of those uh, other children, you have to take into consideration the father or the mother of those other children. And that is a relationship that you're going to have to work through. You're gonna have stepchildren. Some people don't like the word step, but you have to be able to work through those relationships. And if it's a man that uh, you are actually courting and you're maybe engaged or looking at as a potential spouse, how much child support is he paying for those other children? All of that is going to affect your financial um, setup. It's going to affect your finances as a couple going forward, paying child support for the other children. So you have to make sure that you read, research, look into how you deal, how you work with a blended family. That is very, very important, okay? That's the second thing. Also with that one, you have to look at ex-in-laws. What was the relationship like? Um, the ex-in-laws, um, you know, you've got your ex-sister-in-law, brother-in-law, you've got the mother, father-in-law. What is their impact and what is their relationship like with your potential spouse and with the children that your spouse had with another person? What is the impact of these in-laws in the life of your spouse and in the life of the other children? that are going to be obviously joining your new family. So number three, I think the third thing that is really, really important is for you to be able, both of you to sit down and discuss how you were raised, how you were raised growing up. Growing up. You might have uh, one party where, you know, uh, everybody was all hands in, everybody had to, all the, all the, the, the men in the family, they cook, they clean, they do everything. Maybe uh, if you're a woman, your spouse, your potential spouse, maybe 
he didn't have to do any of that because he had so much family he didn't do any of it what was the relationship like with the parents of your potential spouse were they touchy-feely were they communicative you know what were what are the pinpoints what are the points in the other person's family how were they how were you both raised and what is it from the both of your upbringings what are the things that you want to take from that and bring into your own relationship and move that forward in your own family and what are the things that you don't want to participate in or you don't want to bring into your new union so it's very very important for the both of you to sit down and discuss how you were raised because that is going to have an impact on how you come together and have your own family and raise your own children and how you develop as a couple because you're coming with two different mindsets based on how you were raised okay so that's important the fourth thing is do you have the ability to love someone as they are you can never ever go into marriage or into you know uh, look at a potential spouse and say I'm going to change them you can't change anybody you can't change anybody and you have to be able to love someone as they are do you have the ability to do that can you say I love 80% of that person but the 20% of them really really irritate me do you have the ability to maybe overlook some of the minor things maybe he might leave his socks on the chair or he might you know not always put the squeeze the toothpaste in the right way you know those things that you have to work through but do you have the potential to love someone the way that they are because that's an important thing to consider because remember you don't go into marriage with the with the thought and the feeling that you can change people you can't change people you can work together you can have open communication you can have dialogue on how you can both move forward positively but you cannot physically change someone okay and then the fifth thing is that's really really important is how does that person behave under pressure how does that person behave under pressure and that is an important thing you know does that person have anger issues that really um you know gets out of hand once they're under pressure how do they deal with pressuring situation pressurizing situations um family situation work issues personal issues frustrations how do they deal with that because if you're looking at a potential spouse you've got to be able to know how they deal with crises how they deal with crises and that is another thing that the two of you will have to discuss and even throughout your courtship or relationship you'll be able to see and observe fairly quickly how this person works under pressure how they deal with pressure now those are just five things obviously there is a lot more there's there's low hundreds more things that you need to consider before you marry before you um you know take that final step and these are just five very brief things that i've put together that you need to really 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 look at now if you would like me to do another video or elaborate on any of the points that i've raised or for me to do another video on more points or if you have any questions and you would like me to answer those questions please leave a comment in the description box below with your questions or if you want me to do a part two to this video with more things that you need to consider then please leave a comment in the description box below because i've got quite a few here but for the purposes of this video i just wanted to do a taster and get your feedback and then obviously i can elaborate on what you leave 
on whatever questions or suggestions you leave in the comment section. So I hope those five things uh, helped you and they were pointers to, uh, you know, if you're in a relationship, that they are pointers to help you ask the right questions. And as I said, leave a, dis leave a comment in the description box below if you would like more videos like this or if you have a question then I can turn it I can turn it around and turn it into a video okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and turn on your notifications and I'll see you in my next video okay god bless